Puzzle Cube IED Puzzle Cube Project 250 project points. Let's just review where we started and where we are now. You, you did your Puzzle Cube design paint files for 20 points. We did three small together in class. You guys did your own four small and five small. Puzzle Cube construction. You have your physical cube in front of you with five unique parts using either the four small or five small design. Your selected design you need to have sketched in your engineering notebook. Top front right ISO views for all five parts for 20 point engineering notebook points total. Those will be graded shortly in the near future. Inventor modeling, 25 points per part. See the scoring guide, 125 points total. Each part had 25 points total. And you had to lay out top front right views, ISO view, four text boxes according to this scoring guide that you got to know. Not that one. This one. Each text box was a point. Properly dimensioning was a point. Proper name, IED, class period. Properly communicating all the information, all the dimensions of each individual part. You created a CCP title block in IADW world. And then you exported and then you uploaded them to uploaded them to our PLTW LMS, five unique parts. Excellent. Final phase of our scoring guide. Hopefully you did the parts list already. Got some good parts list submissions here. Make sure we balloon correctly. proper ballooning technique. Looks professional, communicating the information in a professional manner. So here are some submissions, like so. The last part of the scoring guide is to create an animation.avi file where you will see how your puzzle cube goes together in an animation. First thing you shall do is click LMS, log into myPLTW.org, click LMS, it will go to your IED, hopefully block one or block five section. When you click on modules, we are in unit four, modeling skills, the puzzle cube project. this pops up. I'll zoom in a little. Hopefully as students you turned in your five dot PDF dimension files. Hopefully you turn in your dot PDF parts list file for 40 points. Here is the AVI video upload of assembly for 25 points. So in this you click on it Yes, it becomes an assignment. You start in modules. Scroll down to unit four, puzzle cube video assembly. And you will find that hopefully embedded in here is the tutorial video on how to make an animation AVI capture. Yes, you are watching a video to learn how to make a video. Think of it as inception, a dream within a dream. So here we go. The process is similar to how you made your parts list. First thing you should open is your fully assembled, locked in, mate mate flushed 
flush flush mates mated cube nothing should move you should only have one part pinned everything else is mated or flushed accordingly so it's fully assembled new piece of paper open up a fresh IPN we are going to create a view based on that IAM assembly file manual hit OK you drop it in here to IPN world hopefully it drops hit the home immediately you must save as we are not going to tamper with the IPN you made for the parts list we call that the parts list dot IPN let's call this the animation dot I animation last name and we're already saving it as IPN world so you should have two IPN saved the first one you did for the parts list the second one we'll do for the IPN again for maximum points display trail should be unchecked we will tweak each part with a slide or translation you get to pick your own numbers you get to pick your own directions so I'm just gonna do this really fast I want to move that up I want to move it backwards in the Y um, let's hit close I'm gonna tweak this one let's move it in the Z to let's move it in the Y which is that way for me to why not check go tweak this green guy I want to move it downward so that's negative Z so I'm going to type in a negative let's go negative three it might fall off your screen but you hit the home button to move it let's move this out tweak Z is outward let's try to check there we go let's move it another one chat oh I'm moving it net one let's move it net three there we go Hit close let's move this one backwards tweak X tells me X is that way X to check let's move it one and Z so we can see it Z one Hit close so those are translations for maximum points. You need to translate and rotate each part. If you do not translate and rotate each part, two point deduction per error. If you do not, if you use blue trails, two point deduction per error. This is only a 25 point video. Let's pay attention to detail. Now we're going to tweak rotate. I want to spin this around the Z. Now you're not limited to 90 degrees. You could use 45s and 60s. Make sure you're on rotation. 45 degrees. See it rotate a little. Maybe I want to spin it around the X. 60. You could also put negative 60. It's rotating. Hit close. Tweak this. I want to spin it around the Z, let's say. 45 degrees. Oh, I was on translate. So you want to hit close and you want to hit undo to bring it back. Tweak this. Make sure I'm rotate around the. I want it actually around the x axis this time. Just go 60 just for kicks. There you go. Close. Tweak this blue one. Let's spin it in the Y direction, Y, rotate, 45, check, close, let's tweak this, I'll spin it in the X for fonts, rotation is that one, 45, and let's spin it in the Y, 60. You can even put a negative 60 if you want. See what it does. Okay.
close. Hit the home button. Let's do one more. Tweak this. Let's go around the X rotation. Let's make this one simple. 90. Okay. Close. Now, when you hit the home button, you could hit animate. You could change the interval, whatever you want. When you hit play, you should see it come together. When you hit this button over here, it is running through the sequence of animation that you created. So this might take a while, but all the tweaks, when you are done, hopefully, shall assemble as your solved cube. Nice. But remember, your teacher does not grade inventor files. If you want to change the order of what happens, hit reset hit the home button, you could maybe make this slide after something, you could change the order by moving up or down. You can make this animation whatever you want. So now, not everyone has Inventor, not everyone can watch this animation on Inventor. We need to record this. Make sure this is checked, hit record. Most importantly, we want to save it as a .avi file. Let's save this as animation last name. And you save it in your puzzle cube folder. I'm in the wrong folder. Downloads, ID, puzzle cube. Here we go. Let's go full frames uncompressed, hit OK. You hit play, don't touch anything, because it is recording. So yes, I am making a recording on a recording. It should go all the way to the end. So the more tweaks, rotations, translations you put in this, the larger the file might be, the longer it might take, but you get to be as creative as you want. For maximum points on this, you need each part rotated and translated. It's okay if it goes through the part. If you wanted to avoid going through the part, you animate it however you want. Now this pops up. Hit the X button. It should reset. Now you have to go back find that AVI file, double click it, hopefully it loads, and then you can watch it as an AVI file. Here it is. So for the sake of time, now you go to your LMS page, you will upload this AVI file to myPLTW.org. So now we all have a record of your puzzle cube getting animated as a .avi file. The purpose of .pdf files and .avi files is not everyone has Inventor, but people want to see your work, your creation. So a lot of people are able to view videos in AVI format. A lot of people are able to open up files in PDF format. That is kind of the point of exporting the PDF and recording to AVI. So good luck. Let's just see if this really records. And yes, this is like Inception. You are watching a video of a video. Layers of the dream. There it is.